So I got a question recently about how to switch from the AMS Lite to the spool on the back of the A1 Mini or the A1 series. And so let's take a look at how to do that. So it's pretty straightforward. We're basically just going to steal the PTFE tube from your first slot on the AMS Lite and we're going to transfer it over here. In order to do that, we just need to remove all of the filament that's in the PTFE tube. And we can just wind that back by hand. Now that there's no filament in the tube, we can either just press down on the black part with our fingers and pull the tube out, or you can also use one of these little tools that make it a little bit easier. Push down, pull out, and then you just transfer the tube over to the internal filament spool. Now we can mount our external spool of filament, in this case this green PLA. And then feed it up. into that tube. Now we can navigate to the filament and the external spool and hit load. Once the nozzle is heated up and you see this warning sign, you can push the filament as far as it'll go. You should see some of the previous colors filament spewing out of the nozzle. If you don't, that's fine. You can hit retry. Once you do see filament coming out of the nozzle, you can hit done and the printer will do a purge of the previous color. And then we can edit our filament just so it matches the color we just loaded. That's all she wrote. Now you can start printing with the onboard filament and you're not using the AMS light anymore. Hope you liked that one and I'll see you in the next one.